In this video, we are going to talk about the history of football. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. Have you ever wondered how it all began as a die-hard soccer fan who meticulously follows all of the games and is well-versed in the finest teams and players? The history of soccer is undoubtedly one of the most fascinating tales in the world of sports. If you stick with us, we'll figure out how this game became so popular in Europe and the Americas. Starting Steps To be honest, soccer is manufactured in China. Early evidence of this game being played may be discovered in China, dating back to the 2nd and 3rd century BC. The Chinese used to play by kicking cowhide balls into a small net strung between two bamboo ponds during the Han Dynasty. Kuju was the name of the game, and according to FIFA, it is the most well-known type of football. A handful of actual variables, in addition, include Japan, Kyoto, and the need to be more cautious. The Japanese were playing a game called Kamari throughout the Asuka period. The main rule of the game was to kick a ball and take the required precautions to avoid dropping it. As should be self-evident, this is something that reminds us of Kipai Uppi, allowing us to perceive the connection between Kamari's main idea and present football. Additionally, the ancient Greeks and Romans engaged in a variety of ball-related activities. Romans, for example, is said to have played a game called Herpastum. They are said to have acquired and altered the Greek gathering game Episkeros. In any event, these sports are more closely related to rugby football than soccer. Regardless, they are considered prototypes of football since they handle the most common sorts of football. Middle Age History of Football Football was played in a similar manner in the past, and it will continue to be a significant part of British culture in the future. Regardless, football was not always regarded as a safe sport, and it was even prohibited at times. People kicked pigs' bladers in the streets in the 10th century. Players had something that looked more like a ball a few years later, but there were no uniform standards. It was sort of like social football. The aim was to get the ball rolling towards the enemy's level head, and the main rule was that there were no rules in any shape or form. Kicking, gnawing, and punching was all part of the game because practically anything was allowed. Believe it or not, the two groups that competed against each other were more like packs fighting each other. Finally, society football became infamous while also being praised. Even troops were stated to be suffering the lack of their bolt-based armament practices merely by watching the connecting with the display. Nonetheless, a number of rulers did not think it was attractive. As a result of the game's ferocity and military excesses, King Edward III declared it illegal in 1365. In 1424, Scotland's king, James I, further prohibited soccer by stating in Parliament that no one will play football. Regardless, there isn't a man alive today who hasn't played football or who dislikes watching it. Whatever the case may be. How did we end ourselves there? What occurred next in the planning stage? And when was bleeding-edge soccer finally considered? Although it is difficult to identify when exactly modern-day soccer was conceived, we can claim that Britain accepted a crucial task and is regarded as one of the primary architects of the systematic round of soccer. Great Britain as a home of modern soccer With the advent of industrialization at the turn of the 19th century, all areas of regular day-to-day -day existence underwent a significant transformation. Most importantly, people had begun to work. Overall, the expert class will have less entertainment time. Soccer began to grow as a sport for both public and private institutions, colleges, and schools. The Cambridge regulations were created in 1815, when the famed English school paired up with Ethan College to create a once-over of rules. Before that, soccer was represented in a variety of ways, which makes us want to remember rugby even more. Cambridge regulations, on the other hand, prohibited players from pushing one other or passing the ball with their hands. Another significant day in the history of football is October 1868. Specialists from 11 London clubs and schools convened at Freemason's Tavern for a casual gathering to discuss basic match rules. That was the way the Football Association was envisioned. Hands had not been strictly prohibited up to that time, but the new alliance resolved to prevent any treatment from receiving the ball as well. Football amateur players turn professional. Because of British sailors. 
officials, and specialists, soccer's universality became more apparent and was disseminated throughout the world. Despite the fact that a few types of individuals football were played in France, Italy, and Germany, it was not until the 17th and 19th centuries, with the standardization of the rules, that this game became truly renowned. Brazil, Uruguay, and Argentina were among the first countries to be introduced to soccer, and this is how it was carried to American territory as well. In 1872, the Crucial Football Association Cup was played once more in the United Kingdom. There were also some additional categories indicated. The Football League was formed in 1888, and the first title bunches matches were held. Players are required to remain learners and are not compensated for their presentation, according to Football Association guidelines. In any event, it's something that, in a short period of time, became an issue. The participants were dissatisfied with how they anticipated spending a substantial amount of time planning and playing. The clubs, of course, charged admission for fans to see the game. The rest is the history. In 1904, FIFA, Federation Internationale de Football Association, was founded. France, Belgium, the Netherlands, Denmark, Sweden, Switzerland, and Spain were among the first countries to do so. Surprisingly, England and other British-ruled countries did not join FIFA from the start. They considered themselves to be the game's creators. As a result, they felt justified in claiming a certain share of opportunity, and there were no motivations to compare themselves to other members of the association. In light of this, these countries joined FIFA the following year. Nonetheless, they did not consider the World Cup until the 1950s. To be more precise, Several nations had just recently fashioned their local collusions by the mid-1930s, close to the turn of the 20th century. FIFA unquestionably enabled the initial World Cup in 1930. It took place in Uruguay. To commemorate the centennial of Uruguay's first constitution, the sports governing body chose Uruguay as the host country. Uruguay was also the hero of the 1928 Summer Olympics, winning the Central World Cup, while Argentina, the United States, and Yugoslavia all managed to win their respective social affairs and finished second, third, and fourth, respectively. Until that year, the main event of the Olympic Games had been the football rivalry. Furthermore, when local gatherings were established, they were reached out to by various divisions after a period of time, taking into consideration the gatherings' presentations. The crucial World Cup for women was produced in China in 1991, and it continues to happen as predicted today and in the foreseeable future. Football is a global phenomenon. Several modifications have occurred on a regular basis as the game has progressed through time. For example, the extra shot was adopted rather early in the history of soccer, specifically in 1871, around the beginning of the documented scene. Of course, there are some more significant alterations that we witnessed during each match that was implemented later. The 1970 World Cup Finals introduced yellow and red cards. Goalkeepers were denied the ability to manage purposeful back passes in 1992, and handling from behind began to result in red card discipline in 1998. There are now more over 200 countries competing in the core World Cup, which began in Uruguay in 1930 with 13 countries. FIFA has 211 public connections, despite the fact that it was founded by only a few countries. Six confederations appeared for different world areas, UEFA, Union de Associations Europeans de Football, AFC, Asian Football Confederation, CAF, Confederation African de Football, CONCACAF, the Confederation of North, Central America, and Caribbean Association Football. CONMEBOL, Confederation Sudamericana de Football, and OFC, Oceania Football Confederation. There is no side of the world where the ball is not kicked, as should be self-evident. This game underwent a lot of alterations from ancient Egypt to the 21st century. Regardless, throughout the last 3,000 years, this has been one of the most popular methods for creating lasting memories. There is no side of the world where the ball is not kicked, as should be self-evident. This game underwent a lot of alterations from ancient Egypt to the 21st century. Regardless, throughout the last 3,000 years, this has been one of the most popular methods for creating lasting memories. We could spend a long period delving into the history of soccer, including notable events, 
decisive minutes and its enduring reputation. Nonetheless, the important dates of the past have unquestionably served as ideas for this work. In the end, it is unclear what the future holds for us. Do you love football? Who is your favorite player? Let us know in the comment box below. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Thank you.